Okay, so it's been a while um, over here in the UK. Uh, we've been in lockdown. As you guys will know if you're followers on this channel, I like to post um, snowboard content, but uh, because of the lockdown and travel restrictions, I wasn't able to leave the country last winter. So despite having many plans uh, for skiing and snowboarding in France and Switzerland, it just couldn't happen. However, I did move to one of the most beautiful places in the UK. And um, now that our lockdown is starting to ease and we're able to get out again, uh, I wanted to get out and start filming. And one of the things I wanted to film is more walking in areas like this. This is Oldswater uh, just behind me. You have got Hallinfell here and the beautiful fells of the Lake District all around. Um, part of the real joys about being in this area is the 214 Wainwrights, which is something that I've seen on social media for a long time. People ticking them off, uh, going to some of these really beautiful areas. And uh, I wanted to start this new series. So this series is episode one of the Wainwrights. Today I am planning to do two of them. First one, Hallin Fell. In fact, I'm actually going to do that second, but stick around because uh, the views from the top of that are right across that lake. Try and get some drone footage, so hopefully that's all right. And the other one is Steel Knots. So uh, let's get going. <laughs> Walking up from Ho Town, uh, you have got two options. When you get to the little gate here, you can either turn right and it does a really beautiful kind of low walk around the base of Hallinfell. However, if you turn left, you walk along this path up towards Martindale. Uh, you'll know that you're in Martindale because there is a church, St. Martin's, and an awful lot of cars normally. Let's head that way. the bat. One of the reasons I really don't like parking in Martindale is it's pretty hectic. The walk up from Howe Town is quite nice anyway with some nice views of Oldswater. For me the more you get the views of the lake the better this is. As you can see St Martin's Church is here. Up the top there's a few people making their way up to Hallin Fell. However to start with we're going to go up here which is quite steep, but it's Berkey Knots. From the top of that, should level out till we get to Steel Knots, I think around 432 meters, at which point we'll be able to take in some views, get the drone up, and uh, then have a nice mellow walk back down to Martindale. Let's go. Okay, so I thought I'd drop a layer before uh, going up the steep part of uh, Berkey Knot. Look at that, you can just see Old's Water peeking out and those views only get better from the top.
up here at Steel Knots, Picky or Wasso, or however you say it, Wainwright number one in this series, and uh, that is 432 metres. Hallin Fell and its obelisk is all the way back over there. That is the next aim for today. However, for now, set up with a nice view. I'm just gonna sit, have a little bit of a drink, bit of food, and then uh, get back on my way. Whoops, <laughs> uh, crashed the drone. First time I've done that. I'm fairly new uh, to flying a drone. So um, if the footage isn't great, bear with me. I promise I'll uh, do some tutorials or watch some tutorials, I should say, and try to improve. Uh, still knots in the background. Just heading down here. When we meet that gate, there's a nice little pathway. Runs all the way along this, back down towards uh, Martindale. So, I'll see you back at the church. So, just heading up there is the first group of people that I've seen on this walk. Another reason why I absolutely love uh, this part of the lakes because when I have been to Keswick, which is beautiful um, or Windermere, which is beautiful, it is absolutely rammed. Just seems a little bit quiet around here. Okay, so I've just crossed over from the still not side of the valley, basically followed the mellow path along that wall, got to St Martin's Church in the middle there and I'm now on Hallin Fell. The top of Hallin Fell is 388 metres, so it's one of the smaller Wainwrights. Um, means it's quite accessible, which is really nice because it also has some of the best views, with views across Oldswater on three sides, and the side down to St Martin's Church is the only side that you can't see uh, Oldswater. So, enough talking. More walking, more heavy breathing, and uh, let's reconvene at the top. So each time I come up here, I get an absolutely massive smile because, look at this. Now, Hallin Fell has to be not only one of my favorite places in the UK, one of my favorite places in the lakes, but uh, probably one of my favorite views in the world. Let's get to the obelisk. Let's get the uh, drone up and let's see if we can get any shots just as uh, the sun is starting to come down over Glen Ridding over there.
So if you stay to the end, thank you very much. Uh, This is the end of episode one of my Wainwright series. Hopefully you guys will want to follow along. If you do, make sure to subscribe. Drop any advice for me that you've got in uh, in the comments. There is 214 of these to complete. I've just ticked off two. I'm not sure if this is going to take me uh, a month, uh, a year, multiple years. We will see. Depends on work and stuff, I suppose. But the one thing I can promise you, I am really motivated to keep going out here, come and visit these beautiful places and get some content uh, uploaded to the channel. I'm also going to add um, some... Uh, handy tips and hints if you want to uh, do these walks yourself on my website uh, the link is on screen and it'll be linked down below in the description so as I said that's two out of 214 of my Wainwrights Uh, so time to sit back enjoy the view for a bit and uh, I'll see you next time with another video